Greg is taking the paddle board out, finally. First real outing. Safety first? Safety first. I have never used one of these before, so bear with. So between us, all of our YouTube subscribers, Craig has a um, fear of water after nearly drowning a few years ago. Before he met me, I had a pretty serious drowning incident. So to say I'm proud of him for being out there, standing up on that paddleboard right now is an understatement. Good morning. We had some really good news yesterday. The house finally completed, the money was transferred, debts were paid off, and we had the best night's sleep we have had in a long time. So yeah, that's it. We're free. And um, just made a coffee. Craig's just getting himself out of bed. I'm gonna sit and read my book with the view this morning. Good morning. I uh, as it we're setting off today. I am um, just topped up with a little bit of water. Beautiful park up for a few days. Disappointingly, he did charge us for that first few hours where we parked at the top, just inside the gate. Um, no electricity, no nothing. He did charge us the full rate, so that's a shame. Um, especially considering the beach bar's closed. Um, some of the other facilities are closed. You can't get in the restaurant for the majority of the day. Um. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Oh, and the pool here as well has been derelict for a long time. Um, yeah, sad really. Like a sad little bad twinge. Otherwise, stunning scenery. Lovely little pebble beach. Lots of fun on the paddleboard. Um, but now for the next couple of nights, we're gonna go and try and find somewhere free to park up and a couple of things to go and see in the area. Got ourselves a little parking spot on the road. I'm gonna take a walk into this little village. So we are at the Parga Castle. It's originally Venetian. Yes. Built in the 1400s. Yes. A medieval citadel. Got fantastic views. I like a cannon, and there's lots of cannons. There are lots of cannons. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a ruin, um, but it's free to get in, and it's nice to walk around. And I will put some drone footage in here too.
Moment to thank my mum for being a horror film buff and making me low-key freaked out by places like this. Stay there. Self, I think it just goes around the circle. And it just goes around in a circle. Yeah. Yeah? Just goes around. Multiple rooms coming off. It's a lot of deep tunnels as well, which if I had a head torch, I'd probably go for, but the, uh, the phone just doesn't illuminate enough and they've all got a very small fireplace you can see right up there so there are two rooms on the left all the same, same all exactly the same size, same design. And this one at the end. Really, really strange place. archaeological site which is uh, to continue with the spooky theme I'm the story is this is the temple of Hades um, I did a little bit of reading last night I'm going to do a little bit more as we walk around but they would um, they believe that this is where they connected with the Hades underground world so yeah my sister's gonna love this this one's for you Sarah That was super cool. So then you take, after you've been in there, it costs six euros a person, but personally, totally worth it. Um, and then you take a short walk down to an, like sort of an extension of the archeological site. 
I mean, you don't know me. When I was a kid, I loved Greek mythology. And as an adult, love a horror film. Love a bit of darkness and ghosts and stuff. So yeah, this is Royal Mile Street. So there's a giant padlock on the gate that looks like it's been there a long time. There's also a hole in the side of the gate, so we came in anyway. But sadly, this looks like it's just sort of been left. It's all overgrown. Stuck all well. Craig. Talking to his new friends. And as a general rule, we leave places better than we found them. So Craig's going to do some little picking. It's not that bad around here, to be honest. It's just, you know, every little helps. steep mountain climb just like the whole way here was just uphill it's beautiful though So just down the road from that monument is an archaeological site that we're going to go and check out now. Craig's pretty confident he can drive down this really narrow gravel track. Not going really to doubt him. Gate's locked, so we're uh, back in the rock. I mean, we could have gotten down the track. Had the gate not had a great big padlock and chain on it. Things didn't go to plan. Uh, we drove down the uh, wooded track and the gates were locked. So, I reversed back out. Very narrow, but we got radio, so it worked. It's bloody hot in this cab. And then, as we reversed out and pulled up onto the lay-by next to it, all the archaeologists just turned up. And so then I thought it might be open, so I walked down and they said, No, it's closed. That season. But everywhere else says it's open. You know, I think it's going to be that sort of problem when we're traveling down. Things are open, things are not open. Hey, you know, it's what it is. Anyway, now we've got to drive back down those mountain roads again. Sites closed, but you can still see what you're supposed to be looking at. Using the drone, because all the sites closed, you wouldn't usually allowed to be allowed to fly the drone. The wouldn't usually be allowed to fly the drone. So you know. Hello from Pavesa in North West Greece. We're here for a few days R&R &R, uh, before we move on further south. Um, Kerry's got some work to do. We need Wi-Fi. Uh, surrounded by beautiful yachts in the marina we're parked up in. 
Uh, it's given me a lot of ideas for another adventure at some point. Mm -hmm. Leave that one open. Anyone want to teach me how to sail? Tap me up. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, we're going to leave you here. Just want to say thank you very much to our wonderful patrons. If you want to join our patron scheme, there's varying levels. You get access to our polar steps, which I update every single day with lots of images and uh, things about what we're doing, what we're up to and where we're going. So that's that. I'm saying goodbye. Kerry's on the other end of the camera filming us. So say goodbye, Kerry. Bye. And we'll see you next time.